Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it's your boy DJ Short E from Philly. And I wanted to make a quick video on how to connect your SC6000M, SC5000M, SC, SC6000s, and SC5000s to your laptop to use with Serato DJ. Just a quick video, because um, I don't think I, I necessarily went in detail um, with it. Okay, basically you need this cable right here. Now this came with your players. I, 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 I bought an updated version because I didn't like the blue color. And at one time, before I got Chrome, I was going to have my players be red. So I wanted everything to match. Um, that's neither here nor there. I'm just, you know, giving you information. So you need that kind of USB cable. Um, you can also use, just so you know, there is another kind of USB cable where the top is off like this. And it'll still work. Okay, but this is the kind that came with the player, so this is the kind I'm using. Um, and what you would do is you would connect that cable to your USB port, which I have it connected in the back. Um, and you would connect your mixer, which I'm also connecting, and my second player. Uh, Startup Serato. Give it a second. I can sit down here. So I have my mixer connected through USB port one. Let me pull this down. And as you see, I have my channel set to USB port one port one you have a choice between port one and port two but since i have the laptop connected to port one that's what we're doing with this i also have it um turned to usb not D dvs um either way it'll work but that's what i do okay serato has started so what you would do is this may default to relative right but I make it go to internal because that's how Serato wants you to hook up your um, players. Okay. So now, now that that's all loaded, um, as you see, this computer <laughs> loads a lot faster than my MSI computer. And what I do is click on computer. Let it start in computer mode. Also the same over here. And it's going to ask me when Serato detects it, which it just did. It's going to ask me to select a deck. I'm picking deck number one. And over here, I'm going to choose deck number two. Um, I'm going to scroll down because I'm trying to find a song that they won't get me for. Um, I might have to go to Philly. Uh, let's choose major figures. Um, just so you know, you can also scroll here. Okay, using the um, the wheel button. Uh, depends on what you call it. Okay. Hit enter. My track is loaded. Move my fader over so you can hear it. Remix. Hot runner. Now, I turn this down for a second. But as you see, I can manipulate it with my cue points. You can see it on the screen. You can also see it up here. I can also manipulate it with the turntable. load the same thing over here by double tapping that's instant doubles and it'll be over there um i can scroll through my tracks find another song i can scroll through my crates if i want to go to a different crate all that's with the wheel. let me turn it down all that is with this wheel and also with the back button or the forward button okay um, I don't have anything in my prepare crate 
and even if I did because of my screen size um, it won't show it because I have it so huge right now. Uh, I would have to instead of giving me an extended I would go to library and then when you tap here now you can go through your your prepare file but I don't have any any songs in my prepare file um, so and you can just load a track just like that Um, you could put your own cue points in there, or you can, you know, you could do like you normally do on Serato, which is, hold on. I prefer horizontal, I mean, not horizontal, I prefer extended. Some of you prefer, um, what is it, um, vertical. You know, that's, that's your choice. Um, but I've all, I learned with X, um, X extended. So that's what I use whenever I use Serato. Um, now, like I said, you have hot cues. Tap it again. And it's the hot, the hot cue with the, um, the loop. All right. You also have loop. Turn loop on and off. This, these are your four loops that you have, the four sizes. You got 16, 8, 2, 4, and that all shows up here. See, 2, 4, 6, I mean, sorry, 2, 4, 8, and then 16. You can also make adjust, adjustments for your beat jump right here. And you jump through the track. You could go eight, four, two, one half, quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth, one thirty second, um, all the way up to and most I'm, I'm pushing these buttons, and all the way up to thirty two beats that you could jump through the song at random. So that depends on you. Um, that's that's under the loop button. Um, you have a second function of, of loop and. That, uh, that turns it on and off at 16 beats per minute. These are programmable loops. I rarely use this, so I'm sorry if I can't give you more information on that. Um, you also have roll and see. And these are the different, you have one eighth, one, one fourth, one half and one, one bar. You also still have beat jump, as you see. Go to slicer. Second form of slicer. The second, okay, so just to be clear, the first slicer, the first time you touch slicer, it just lets the track play, but you can slice the track. The second slicer is sets a loop, right? And within that loop, you can hit slicer and press the different button, buttons to get different effects. I rarely use slicer, but, but you know, it's just, if that's what you use, you have the ability to do all that on the player. Um... You could, like I said, this is beat jump right here where you could jump through the track. Uh, you can also go to the next song, go, go back, censor. In case there's a curse word, you accidentally put on the wrong song and got to censor it by hand. Or it is censored, but it's not clean enough for you. You can hit the censor button. It momentarily rewinds the track, but it lets the track play. Um, you can turn the motor off. Let's 
so it doesn't touch, mess with anything. Turn the motor on, and you can manipulate it. Um, these are your pitch blend buttons. Let's see. They do work. See? Speeding it up, slowing it down. Still moving. And you get all your information right here on the screen. Um, let me see. Uh, you can arrange your tracks by alphabetical order, by artist, by BPM, by key, and by length. Um, what else can you do? Uh, oh, um, I did find this out when I was just messing with it before I made this video. All right, so I'm playing a song, right? And let me see if I get it right. You hold shift and hot cue, and you can shift the key. Look. It shifts the key up and down, a semitone, or you go back to the normal key to reset it, and that helps if you're mixing by key, so you can match the key to different tracks. Everything you can do on this player, you can do on this player all over here. Um, I'm just focusing on this one, so you can, you know, I can show you exactly what you can do. You can make your own manual loop. I know that's offbeat, but I'm just showing that you can do it. You can also do an auto loop. Okay. And at all the information you see down here, you can also see up here. Um, I don't know what else, what else, what else. Uh, your, start and, your start and stop time. I prefer a little slow start, I mean slow stop, so it sounds like an actual turntable. Um, what else? Let me see. Okay, all right, there's something else. Now you can, um, if you hold shift and the pitch blend button, you can make the pitch go up or down, so meaning Let's say I want to come all the way down, but this is at 102 beats per minute, but the track over here is at 105. Well, how can I get them to match? I could either slow this down, which I may not want to do, or what I could do is hold shift and hit plus, and now I have more leeway to come up a little higher. So I got plus 16. Um, let's see. I'm doing this with one hand. Plus 50 plus 100 okay and you could you could mess around with the um the pitch control you also have the um key lock so even though you're messing with the pitch control if you got to go that high it's something wrong though but you know it's just one of them things another thing is when you go too high or too low look you go too high, I would say at like 140, it stops moving. And if I'm going down, I would say at 145, it stops moving at when I'm going down. I mean, I'm sorry, at 45, it's the, the platter stops. So at 45 BPMs or 150 BPMs, the platter stops. Um, but as you see, it, it sounds kind of distorted anyway. I don't know anybody who would use that, but it's there if you want to use it. Um, let me see. Uh, I guess I should try sync for people who use sync. So um, 
So I'm gonna hit sync here, sync over here, and it syncs both my BPMs. So um, you can use sync, you, you key um, key lock. You can turn off key lock if you want it to sound slower or less mechanical. Um, what else? Um, the view button only works up here. It changes the different views with in Serato when you press it. Different choices you have. You got vertical. Horizontal, extended, stack, library. Okay. Um, source, of course, you know what source is for. That's to choose if you want to use the players with your laptop or use it with your computer. Um, your different layers, you know, because this is assigned to one, so it automatically defaults to three. And the, the layer over here, since this is assigned to two, it automatically defaults to um, four. So you could play up to four tracks at the same time with these players and with Serato. Um, and I guess you would just click on the four right here to represent the four um, turntables you're using. As you see, uh, the library gets considerably smaller when you do that. But this size of your library doesn't change. You always see your library on this. Um, it's This, this is... Um, Something I, I guess people will like if you want to use Serato with your players and your, your X1800 mixer or whatever mixer you choose. Um, so I hope I have answered all questions. Like I said, you connect Serato. You, what I do normally, I start up Serato. Completely start up Serato, right? While I'm starting up Serato's, let's say my cables are not connected, right? That's when I let the, the player know that I want to use it in computer mode. So while that's loading computer mode, Serato is loading. Both are working at the same time. Serato completely loads. It lets me know at the bottom, you know how it says library um, completed or whatever. Boom. That's when I plug in my, my mixer, my players, and I can just start playing music. You know, I start choosing the songs I want to play and start playing from there. Um... So that's how you use Serato DJ Pro with your um, Denim Prime players. Hope I've answered all questions. If not, just leave questions in the um, comment section, and I'll try my best to answer them. And I'm out. Once again, it's your boy, DJ Short E from Philly. Peace.